You gotta check this out. This is awesome. It's right down here. I am pretty darn sure that that is a big nodule. Hey, what's up everybody, it's Taylor, and I'm on at another beach along the North Shore of Minnesota. I'm super excited, it's like 30 degrees today, and uh, wow. as you can see, the lake's pretty calm. So I'm gonna be doing some wading in the water, some scooping, and hopefully we can find some good stuff. Alrighty, so I also found a pretty good handful of agates so far. I'll uh, turn the camera on and show you what I found in the first 10 minutes. Alright, so was, I think this one is just quartz. Um, maybe not, but it, I don't know, it threw me off because it looked like there's a few little uh, bits of like kind of agate banding included in there, but I don't know. Not too sure. I would say no, but maybe it might have some inclusions in there or something, but um, we got this guy. It's pretty cool looking. Not the biggest, but still fun. Um, this is like part of a nodule. Kind of, kind of cool. And then um, this this one, it's tiny, but the banding on it is just awesome. So cool. Very, very sweet. And then this is the last one. This is probably the best one I've found so far. And because it has some sweet bands there and water level peeking through. How awesome is that? Sick. Alright, so I've worked this beach over and went pretty far down there and I'm getting down over here and as you can see, it's getting pretty hard to see. I don't know why well, there's so much sediment. I don't know if you can see over there, over by the shore, it's really, really bad. So pretty hard to see and what's on the beach is uh, pretty small stuff. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna head to another spot and just try that spot out for a little bit. Uh, but yeah, pretty pumped with what we found here. and. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep going. Alrighty, so I'm at the other beach. I stopped at the uh, mouth of the French River and uh, pretty good pretty calm not too bad uh, kind of the same issue with the sediment uh, kind of being kicked up a little bit but I can still see a pretty good amount so uh, this is actually the beach where I found that one agate that kind of looked like a crazy lace agate but I believe it is more of a fortification agate but uh, hopefully we can have the same luck again right now because looks like pretty good conditions I'm pretty excited I'll, uh... oh yeah try to get it when the water goes That's uh, kind of neat. A lot of quartz in there. Not bad. Not bad for today. Alright, so not too far. Kind of right there is where I started. I think we got one right here. I, I don't know. Probably not. I've been kind of scooping some of these bigger ones. They just end up being junk, but... definitely hard to do. Oh man, I gotta... <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> no way. That can't be. There's quartz in there. That's a weird piece. It, it doesn't have like classic agate banding, but it... I don't know. I'm going to have to look at it closer later. It doesn't feel waxy. I don't know. That's a that's a really weird piece. I'll have to... I'm going to submit this to some ID pages and see what they think. But that's kind of crazy. It's huge. <laughs> Wouldn't have got it without the scoop. And... 
honestly didn't think it was one because I don't know you can kind of they have a look but it was like it kind of looks a little translucent so I don't know I'll let you guys know what I find out <laughs> it's like 10 feet after that one you got to check this out this is awesome it's right down here I am pretty darn sure that that is a big nodule. <laughs> this spot is killer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is huge. It's like two, it looks like two different nodules meshed together. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is like my fav my favorite spot. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's huge. Look at that. Biggest nodule ever. That thing's a monster. Oh my gosh. I'm going to keep going. We'll see if we can find anything else enormous. It's been an awesome day. Alright, so I got another one here. Right there. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Oh my gosh, this beach is just killing it today. <sighs> Can't believe it. Such a good day for rock hunting. Just awesome. Got quite a ways down and wind's picked up. You can probably hear it, so sorry about that. Really cool. So I'm going to head back. Pretty pumped with what I found so far. We'll see if we can find anything on the way back. But that nodule is enormous. <laughs> so awesome. And then that other one, I don't know if it's just like foreign specimen or something but I'm excited to take a closer look at it when my hands are not little icicles so we'll, uh, we'll head back see if we can find anything on the way and if not it's such an awesome day so far all right we got another one here it's kind of rolling around right there wait for the waves to kind of go down a little bit trying to get the hand too wet oh yeah oh, sick bands Oh, that's sweet. Awesome. Man, we are having such a good time today. This is great. Well, I've got to the other end of the beach. Found a couple of random stuff. Uh, nothing crazy. But still just on cloud nine about how today has gone. It's been awesome. Such a fun day. It's been kind of cold. Cooling down. Uh, sediment issue. As we get over here, you can see it's kind of hard to see in. But... <laughs> Found some awesome stuff. I'm super pumped to uh, get it in warm weather, check it out, and then uh, that big one. I gotta verify that with somebody, see if anybody can confirm if that's an egg, because that is huge and would be my biggest one yet. So I'm gonna head back, and uh, in the meantime, I'll do some research to see if anybody can help ID that one, or maybe just getting it in uh, better light can help us ID it. So we're back and I'm super excited to show you everything we found from the hut. All right. So here is everything that we found on this hunt. Uh, first thing I wanted to show you guys was this thing. I'll get a wet to show you. I don't know what it is. I looked through books to try to find out what it is. I have no clue. Pretty wild looking. First time I've ever found anything like this. If you guys have any ideas or anywhere to point me in the right direction, please let me know. Alright, so the smaller ones, I was going to show you this one. It's got some great water level banding in there. It's got, let's see here, one, two, two windows. It'd be fun to kind of do like a polish around the base of this whole thing and see what else it has in store. But yeah, pretty, pretty great banding on that one. And then also this one, awesome bands on that, really tight, super great, love it. Alright, so here's the big nodule I found, and just for reference, I wanted to show you my previously largest nodule that I had cut. So as you can see, there's a bit of a size difference. 
And then my biggest agate of the 2019 season, and so far, I guess, was this Saganite agate. So as you can see, I would say this one's bigger. So we'll get this one wet here. Just give you a good look at it. So just huge. And I've been looking at it, and there's very, very light layers of banding throughout it, like really just almost hints of it. So I would love to get this one cut. Um, so like technically Chalcedony right now because it's not banded, but it's whole, so nodule. So just going off of what I found with this one, because when I found this one before, it was just a nodule. And then we cut it and there's all those bands in there. So hopefully if we get this one cut down the road, there'll be bands in it. So yeah, super excited about this. This thing's huge, very waxy, uh, very translucent. And it's got, I love that it's got like two different parts, uh, the deep red and then this more like lighter red with the quartz and stuff in there. Super awesome. All right, so for this monster here, um, I've looked through my books and I posted on, on ID pages and I uh, got a few different thoughts on it. Um, one of the things from my book that with these smoother translucent pieces here, um, I'm almost thinking, you know, correct me if I'm not saying this right, but uh, brickiated agate? Uh, yeah, whatever, however it's pronounced, but yeah, that's one thought that came to mind with it. Um, maybe not, but another agate expert that I reached out to said a either beach worn or glacial worn agate and he just said it's just kind of an ugly looking thing, which I would agree. As far as agates go, it's not the most uh, beautiful looking thing. <laughs> but um, I'll get it wet here. And then, I don't know, another person said, what was it, iron, iron stain quartzite or something like that. Um, and some people arguing about what they thought it was on one of the ID pages. Um, so I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards like a beach horn agate, but yeah, another one that I think would be great to cut and then we can get down to see what it really is. Just wanted to say too, if we can get to 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to fill up a mason jar with agates and do a little contest giveaway with that. So as we get a little closer to that, I'll start filling up the jar and show you what we'll be giving away. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. Had such a fun time on this hunt. I've uh, been very lucky with the weather being permitting and being able to get out and find some really great stuff. Uh, stay tuned for more polishing videos and hopefully we can get out for some more hunts. Thanks. Bye.